This is a 2013 Ford Fusion Hybrid. Um, there is a code in this car that it drove, I think, a lot of mechanics crazy, which is uh, P26CA. So what exactly this means, anytime uh, the coolant uh, pump module senses no power to it, it sends a signal to the body control or the powertrain control module or the engine computer, it tells it that uh, there's no power going to it. Um, every time you reset this code, it keeps going back on. So anyway, to make the story short, um, so I did check the power going to the module. This is the pump connector. So the issue uh, is with, with number three. I notice here, uh, someone was working on this car before, and uh, I found that there is a five and the fuse was here, inside here, in this area right here. So this is very much, this is the fuse uh, on the fuse 12, if you wish, which is, it feeds power to number three, okay? And this is a three bronze troop. This side here, it feeds the fuse 12 to the um, number three and the harness and the pump. Okay, and again, this fuse is right here. As you can see it, I already removed the cover on this uh, harness here to just to do some diagnosis. I did check the power and uh, number one is the ground, has a good ground. And number two is the fuse number five. The fuse number five is right here. You have to remove this cover off and the fuse number five is right here. This is fuse number five. Under this plastic here. That's fuse number five. Okay. And it says on it number five. And that's, this is where is the, um, let me just move this for a second. Okay, let's move this one back here. And uh, as you can see, the wire is right here. Let me turn this light on. It's right here. This one here. This is going to the number two on the harness. Let me turn this back off. Okay, so let's go back here. Station this a little bit. Let me just hold on a second, please. Okay, so this side of the fuse, all the way at the end. Let me get the fuse. Again, uh, I found this number five and it was burned. And this is supposed to be number 15, uh, 15 amp fuse, not five. They bought five, but it's supposed to be 15. Anyway, I bought 15 and also uh, it burned. The fuse, it went off. Um, so here is the uh, again number three as you can see that's the issue I'm having that it needs to give it power uh, from this fuse right here and this number three is the gray wire going on the pump when you go to the bottom I'm gonna go down under, under the car a little bit to show you what's going on so, again, this is the gray wire right here. This is the, I already cut it here just to do more testing, as you can see. So this is the wire right here. Let me just pull it out a little bit. Okay, so this is the wire. This is the wire. This is feeding the pump, feeding also the um, active grill shutter 
and also feeding the cabin heater coolant pump which is right here the auxiliary pump it's on, under the radiator and the heater shutter um, it's right here with this connector right here I took because I took all the wires to, to see where is the issue where it's where is the short why the fuse getting burned so this is going very much under here here's the shutter and if you go under the car this way here is the um, the motor that controls the shutter <coughs> okay so anyway so let me station the camera so I can show you how I'm doing this testing here and how I well I find the problem in this car so this is the wire the gray wire I cut it so I could do some more testing here I'm gonna hold it back on so this wire here it's touching somewhere uh, uh, one of the other wires near near it okay because every time if this is on the ground here and if I put here as you can see let me turn this light off as you can see the this little diode here is blinking see that okay so again if I remove I already remove the fuse where is the fuse okay so let me get the 15 amp Okay, so this is the correct fuse I used, and you can see it's burnt, right there, burnt, the focus, okay, so now I'm gonna put a diode between this and this pins here, you can see them here, I'm gonna put diode between them. Right. This is too much here. Let me just get this. Is okay. So as you can see, I'm gonna put here. You can see how this is flashing. All right. That means there is a short on this wire. One of the wires is touching, touching this wire somewhere in a, in a wiring harness. All right. And um, that's why this fuse keep getting burned. Uh, also, I found out that they already changed the coolant pump. It has it's a brand new, uh, but did it didn't fix the problem. And they have five amp fuse instead of fifteen. That was like kind of dumb to use five instead of fifteen. So that was also burned. I used fifteen. It burned. So anyway, I need to uh, dig a little bit deeper here and show you where I got. So I, I, I tested this circuit here. I already tested this. I unplugged the active uh, sh grill shutter and I disconnected the coolant pump, the auxiliary pump. I disconnected them from the circuit and I still I'm getting this here to blink. So that means the short is not inside any of these things here. This is disconnected, this is disconnected, and this is disconnected, but still I'm having the same issue here. Okay, I'm gonna go under the car, I'm gonna bring this under the car, I'm gonna put uh, uh, a bigger wire so I can reach under the car. This way we can see what's going on underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, disconnect this, this one here. Disconnect this. Put this one here. I'm gonna try to unblock as much as I can until I, 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 I get this thing to stop flashing like this. As you can see, it's still a flashing. I have this extension. Okay, I'm gonna raise the car up and go from underneath. Okay, uh, again, as I said, um, you can see here, I disconnected the, the pump, the pump is right here, the coolant pump is disconnected. The 
This pump also disconnected. This one right here. You see it disconnected. That's just the the cabin or the the heater the heater bump. The one that works for the cabin inside the car. Okay, and I did this again okay, disconnected the shutter. As you can see, it's all disconnected. So the issue is in this gray wire right here. This one here. This one is shorted. This one here, the gray one. I can see and they share the same wire. There's a gray one. And also there is one here, the gray too, as well. <clears throat> okay, so. Let me see here. So I kept it tracing very much everywhere. I went here, I went there, I went everywhere. Right, so the final step I went, which is was here, this cable right here. You can see this is still a flashing. Let me point out, let's see if we can. It's still flashing. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, this is still flashing. Let me try to cover here on it a little bit here. All right, so as soon as I unplug, unplug this one here, this harness, stopped. You see this? There's nothing. Stopped. And as you can see, the short is right here. And this is the gray wire. It's touching this wire next to it. Alright, this is the gray. I'm touching this wire next to it. And I'm gonna zoom in inside, show you what's going on inside too. You can see inside here. What's going on here? As you can see. So this is where it was the short. If this is gonna be more clear. Right there. Even one of the pins is cut off. The gray pin is cut off for the gray wire. It's already melted. So this is where it was the short. And again, as you can see this here. So most likely, I'm not gonna change the whole harness. I'm just gonna cut these wires and bypass them around the harness. And that's it, we call it a day. And that's where the short is. That's what the issue was. Thank you for watching.